Day 21, we have 10 days left in this 31 day challenge. And guys, we are gonna go strong, we're gonna finish off. But first, let's talk about today's topic and it's going to be Prime Knit. Well, one YouTube, welcome back to the page, welcome back to the channel. Like I said in the intro, we're going to talk about Prime Knit. That is Adidas version of Nike's Fly Knit. The reason why I said that is because Fly Knit came out first, came out in 2012, I want to say, but then Prime Knit officially came out in 2015. And the Prime Knit shoes that I want to show you guys is going to be a Yeezy because I already showed you my only Adidas and I can't talk about that again. So we're going to be talking about this. So guys, here you have it. This is going to be the Yeezy 350 Breath. Funny story about these guys. Let me tell you how I got this before I talk about Prime Knit in the first place. This right here used to go for, I want to say nine, about eight to $900. So I got my hands on two pairs of Sakai LD Waffle, the blue one, the OG colorway, and I traded it for this one because I thought this was going to skyrocket, go to the moon, NASA level, and it didn't. To be honest, the Sakai is going for more. But I still don't regret that trade because I had two. And at the time, I really wanted this. The crazy thing is, sham, sham, ba bam, bam, I have yet to wear this goddamn shoe. So when it comes to Yeezys, I always buy every single black colorway. So I'm talking about, I have the Bread 350s, the Onyx 380s, and I also have the Black Static 350s. Now, this is why I barely wear the Bread. So when you take a close look at these two shoes right here, can you tell me the difference? This black versus this black. This is more of an ashy black. This is more of a jet black. This has no black writing on it. This has black writing on it. The only thing is I had this up in the shelf so it was easy to grab and that's why I never put this on. So I had to switch it out. So the one thing that all three shoes have in common is that the upper for all tree is prime knit. So the prime knit on this 350 is actually thicker and that's why I like wearing this in the fall and winter compared to the prime knit that's gonna be on the 380s. The 380s prime knit is very thin. As you can see, you're gonna see my fingers through these holes and this is actually one of my favorite black shoes to wear in the summertime. Of course, when it's summer, you want your feet to be breathable and nice and prime knit definitely handles the job pretty well unlike flying it you're gonna know that is a yarn material because the way that shoe is constructed but when it comes to prime knit you might sometimes get confused and think this is a mesh upper but no when you get closer you know that is a knitted type of shoe so i remember when prime knit first came out a lot of people were saying that it was more superior and stronger than flying it and honestly i have to say a lot of my flying it shoes are holding up well they're good they're strong but when it comes to wearing them in the winter time Hell to the no, but wearing the 350s in the winter is actually fine. Like I said, so you can't really see through the knitting right here and that's why I say this is great for the fall and winter time. You could wear a 350 and not feel cold. So when it comes to priming, the only thing you could really talk about is gonna be the upper of the Yeezy 350s and of course the Ultra Boost. Ultra Boost was a shoe that officially released and debuted the Prime Knit technology. After that, Adidas ran the train to the ground and that shoe did great. But once they put it on the Yeezy, that's what took it to another level because honestly, the comfort is there and that's where they're still selling. That's why Yeezy could drop 15 shades of brown and every 50 shades sell. But yo guys, that's it. Love, manas, and always respect. I'm out of here until next time. <laughs>